Luxe beesten reist de wereld rond op zoek naar de meest verwende dieren op aarde. Deze week maken we kennis met Jetro en Chris, twee echte fashionistas. We vieren de tiende verjaardag van Bulldog Lola en we zijn te gast bij Zita en Bazooka, twee hagedissen die houden van gezelligheid. In Zuid-Engeland woont de 52-jarige Karen met haar zes kleurrijke bulldogs. Kijk jou, kom eens hier. Kom eens hier. Kom Lola. Kom Lola. Kijk jou. Voor de oudste bulldog Lola is het vandaag een bijzondere dag. Ze wordt tien jaar en dat moet uiteraard gevierd worden. Everyone loves a party, um, especially Lola. Um, and why wouldn't she? She get a bit of sausage. Ze heeft een beetje fun, ze heeft een beetje doggy beer of some goat's milk. Ze loves, loves to dance, ze loves the attention, ze loves the fast, ze loves wearing a new dress. Let's get you all ready for your party. We give you a wash, give you a wash down. Good girl, these smell nice, don't they? There's a pretty girl. Keep still, in your belly. I know, you've got a very sexy belly. A bit ticklish here. Oh, a bit higher, come on. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, how pretty is this? Is that nice? Keep still. <sighs> yeah, I dress them up in clothes, but I also make sure their well-being and their health is being looked after. Yeah, they're pampered, but why wouldn't you? You know, you give your children the best in life, why would you not do it to your babies? They're just, they are just unconditional love. Karen ziet al haar honden graag. Maar met Lola heeft ze een bijzondere band. Ze hebben samen dan ook al heel wat meegemaakt. Lola's the oldest girl. She's ten now. She's like the matriarch of the family, aren't you? You're head of the family, aren't you, Lola? Are you top dog? Lola's very special. Um, we didn't think we'd have her at all. Um, when she was three, we had a really bad house fire. Vets at the time were saying they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. And then they said they might make it. And then they said. They're going to be okay, but they might not live a long life. You know, they sort of said around the five sort of mark. And we just tried to make their life really happy for those five years. But here we are at double five. We're at ten years, and I'm just so proud and blessed. Are we so proud and are we blessed? Are we, Lola, that we want to celebrate it in style? So, yes, we're going to have a big party, aren't we, Lola? Karen en haar vriend Piet hebben voor de tiende verjaardag van Lola een zaal gehuurd in de buurt van Londen. Ze betalen er met plezier 3000 euro voor, want het moet een groot feest worden. Voor Lola's birthday, I wanted something really special. Um, so I thought to celebrate her 10 years, we would get a 10 tier cupcake. Of course, it's made of hearts because of my love for Lola. And it had to be gold because of the hundred and full of sparkles. And there's going to be 200 cupcakes for all the guests. Um, we do have a doggy cake because I don't always agree with giving dogs cake. So we have a raw mince cake, especially for Lola and her doggy guests. But this is for the humans. We're going to give the humans a little treat today as well. This is all the treats for the doggies. So we're going to put on some flashing lights for them. So we've got a human sweeties here. And we've got the doggy treats here with some serviettes and some extra bowls. There we go. Now, these are like gravy bone biscuits, and there's all different colours in there. And these are all like natural nature's menu, my favourite, favourite food. So, for doggies, I have to just bite this, excuse me. That's it. Mmm, smells lovely. 
I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous and I'm quite emotional. I think because it's Lola and you know she means so much to me, I'm getting a bit, oh, oh, I've got to get ready. And I'm just, I want Lola to really enjoy that whole evening. I want her to enjoy her cake. I want her to enjoy all the performances. All her doggy friends are here. I'm just so excited, but I'm a bit nervous. Ook Lola is nervous. Karen heeft een reiki therapeut ingehuurd om haar te kalmeren. Good girl. Good girl. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm giving her a session of Reiki. Um, the object of the exercise is to, um, to try and help calm her down. It's obviously a very exciting day for her, uh, with lots of uh, action and lots of people going to be around. And uh, it's a very hot day as well today, which isn't perhaps helping. So what I'm trying to do here is to just help her to relax, to get the best out of the day. So Reiki is a, a simple, hands-on healing therapy and so I'm, I'm transferring um, healing energy into her that's um, taken from all around us, all the atmosphere around us and I'm transferring them into, into Lola here. It looks so cute! Be careful because the top bit's coming off. Just gently. Just put it down here. Gently. That's it. This way. This way, Pete. Next to the cupcake stand. Turn it this way a bit more, towards me. And then towards her, she's looking at her guests. Now this way a bit more. That's it. Through there. Uh, there, I think. We wanted a lovely throne because, you know, she is 100 years old. So we did think she couldn't be on the dance floor all night as much as she'd want to be dancing the night away, we can't do that. So we're trying to encourage Lola to sit here and we, one of us will sit with her during the night so when people are entertaining her, she can sit and watch where if she's running around the place, she's going to get worn out, be really tired, get too hot. So we've dressed this lovely throne for her and I wanted it to be like a princess throne, just like Lola, like Lola's personality. De gasten voor het verjaardagsfeest van Lola de Bulldog zijn precies op tijd. Baasjes en hondjes zijn piekfijn uitgedost voor wat een onvergetelijk verjaardagsfeest moet worden. Does she look beautiful in the dress? Karen heeft ervoor gezorgd dat Lola niet moet onderdoen voor haar gasten. Ze kreeg een nieuwe jurk en tiara. Lola, this way. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. Hello, Hi. Harvey. Hello, Harvey. That's it. Good girl. Hi, Hi honey. How are you doing? Hello. Lovely to see you. Happy oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, she looks gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Stay there. Karen en Pete hebben kosten nog moeite gespaard om er een spetterend feest van te maken. Alles samengeteld gaat het om een kleine 10.000 euro. Ze hebben maar liefst 30 mensen en evenveel honden uit alle uithoeken van het Verenigd Koninkrijk uitgenodigd om Lola's tiende verjaardag te vieren. We're so excited. Here we are celebrating Lola's 100th birthday party. She's arrived in her beautiful dress in tiara. She's all excited to go. I think she wants to go dancing to the music, but uh, we're having a lovely day. 
We've got some amazing guests, and she's enjoying her wonderful throne. All her doggy friends are here, so I think it's time to party. Should we party? Karen wil dat Lola en haar vriendje zich goed amuseren en heeft voor de gelegenheid ook een tapdanser uit Spanje overgevlogen. De tapdansact kan op veel enthousiaste reacties rekenen. steeds in volle gang. Maar het is ook enorm warm in de zaal. En dus zorgt Piet ervoor dat Lola niet oververhit raakt. We just calling Lola down because she's um a bit hot. So we put her in the car to cool her down in the air conditioning. Give her a rest. She's getting a bit old now. She has a little rest in here. Give her a cool down and then we're ready to go and party again. So she just has rests every 10 minutes or so in the cool. Well, what? What? Yeah, yeah. You want to go back to the party? Yes, you do, don't you? You're ready now to go out and ready party again. Should we go and get Mummy to say you're ready to come back? Hey? Eh? I think she's ready to come back now. Mummy's gonna try it first. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Lola! This party was so important for Lola, not just Lola but me as well. We're so blessed to have her and to celebrate her 10 years on, on this planet by way of dog years, 100 years. I'm just so overwhelmed. I had to do something really special for her. I had to pull out the bag. A really amazing party because she's an amazing princess and it had to be over the top, it had to be luxurious, it had to be doggy, doggy, doggy and I wanted everyone to come and have some doggy fun and they've had fun, Lola's had an amazing party, she didn't want to leave, she was trying to drag me back in the party, um, to me it's been so special, I love that girl so much and this is my way of showing her thank you for everything she gives me and everything she is for me. Let's go to bed, Lola. Good girl. Good girl. Let's go to bed. Ready? In the nights. In the nights, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you for a lovely party. Well done, Lola. Well done.